Obviously, it's slightly different situations, but I was just reflecting upon the general volume with which the guy said the F word, the homophobic slur, um, not to me, but when the uh, service writers were so bored and so was the salesman that they just resorted to saying homophobic weird shit to each other at the BMW dealership, uh, which is insane, you know? It's like, what if I had been there with one of my gay or lesbian friends? And my wife and I might each buy, I don't know, three or four mo more motorcycles in our lifetimes easily. And either one of us, my wife or I, could have easily afforded to buy any motorcycle there that day. I mean, fuck, dude. But yeah, man, it's like when the off-duty prison guard was sexually harassing my wife, and my wife isn't even particularly attractive. I mean, I think the world of her. But, you know, it was just all about power, is all about power in his mind, you know, because he is a predator and a psychopath in the clinical senses of those words. So, you know, after filing multiple reports with the police asking, this is my wife filing it. It's not like I'm jealous. I'm not like, oh, Joe, are you jealous of this guy? No. My wife, she travels to Africa, to Italy, to anywhere. We go surfing. We do what? Yeah, it's super chill. This guy's a fucking creep, this off-duty prison guard, man. And, uh, you know, he won't leave her alone. And Officer Davis says, well, you have to have your husband talk to him, you know. Then when I talk to him, using no swear words, no threats, and a voice lower in volume than the guy said the F word at the BMW dealership, try to arrest me for disorderly conduct. And say, oh, he was afraid for his life. The guy is 6'6 and had a gun on him. I'm sitting there unarmed. Oh, afraid for his life because your voice was too loud. Then the guy in the BMW dealership is on the clock representing the brand, and his voice is three times as loud. So, you know, how it all connects, I just think that there's obviously, <laughs> well, for one thing, you have some bullshit corruption with the prison guards getting to do whatever the fuck they want in Salem on, when they're off the clock. You know, drinking and driving, sexually harassing, and that's just the t tip of the iceberg. And then, you know, the fact that you have a brand, if I think of a female motorcyclist, it's probably a BMW. And then you have these people saying anti-LGBT, I mean, dude, dude, it has no place at a BMW dealership. That guy should be fired immediately.